Hello everyone, I'm YouTube Dish Kargiji. I hope you're all well in good health. Today I'm in Pakistan and I'm trying to show you a Pakistan village cooking, which is very easy. We are in Jhelum in somebody's house and I'm going to show you a lamb that's called bakra, goat meat. I've got it there. It's a half a kg and I put about water just to cover the meat. Now I'm going to leave it on the pressure for about 20 minutes. Then I'll show you what to do. And I'm gonna add my tomatoes in there. There's two tomatoes in there. One large onion, about four green chilies, uh, three cloves of garlic and half an inch of ginger. That all goes in there. That's a village cooking. So you know how easy, time consuming, and they don't like to waste their gas. It's very expensive. So that's the way they do it. Okay, and I'm going to add a teaspoonful of salt for time being now, and then I'll see if I need more. By the way, I'm making bakra gosh, which is goat meat with cauliflower, and uh, one turmeric, teaspoon of turmeric powder. And I'm going to pressurize now for 20 minutes. Then I'll show you when it's ready. Now it's been 20 minutes here. I'm gonna remove the steam. My meat should be done. I'm gonna check in a minute. The meat is done now. I can break it with my hands. And um, there's some water there which I need to dry. I'm gonna put some masalas inside, some spices. I got um, dried methi there, a pinch of dried methi in there. Uh, jeera, cold jeera, dhania powder, chili powder, and whole garam masala. One teaspoon each that goes in there. Chili powder as well. Green chilies as well. Make it quite nice and spicy. Now I wait till the water dries. I bought a whole goat which I slotted it. And I made some, some packets of half a kg each and I put it in the freezer. And then as I go along, I cook when I need it. And I'm gonna show you my goat and the way we slaughtered it because the piece is there. Now I've got about two serving spoons of cooking oil in here, which I'm gonna add it into my pot. This is the quickest way to cook. That's how the villagers cook, so they save on their gas and their time because they're very busy doing other things. And I'm gonna wait till add my cauliflower when the water dries completely and the oil comes through and then it should be ready. I'm roasting it now. Okay, when are you adding the cauliflower now? I'm gonna roast this chicken. When the oil comes through, then I'll add the cauliflower. Got one small cauliflower, which I show you. I'll cut into small flowers. It's a small cauliflower. That's what I'm going to add in. Now it looks beautiful. You can see the oils come through. Now I'm going to add my cauliflower which is here. Some builders are working in this property. I've come to visit them and I said let me show how you cook. How so long are you staying in Pakistan? I'm just staying for another three weeks. Then I'm going back. I'm gonna be here for three weeks. Now I'm gonna roast my cauliflower for a bit and then add the water. Just a little water, not a lot. Okay, next week we're going to make a video of Kentucky. 
Yeah, yeah, we're going to KFC. KFC. I'm going to add a little bit of water in there. And stir it well and put the weight on it. For about three minutes, it should be done. And this is the freshest cauliflower grown in their own garden and the freshest meat ever you can eat. Now it's been three minutes. I'm going to open this and see. Wow, it looks beautiful. The cauliflower is done. It's beautiful as you can see. I'm going to add some fresh coriander in there. So coriander goes in there. This is a village cooking. They've got a parrot that's making noise. They've got builders working here. They are making their own noises. So here we go. We're all done. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe me and like my channel.